What's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Land. I'm here with a visit Houston. I am in Houston. I'm from New Jersey, but I really consider Houston my second home. I come here once or twice a year, and I, I love this city so much. Like you, you have no idea. I've I, the city is so huge, and there's a lot of stuff here. But I believe that me personally, I found all the gems, and I'm really, really happy to be back for for not only in Houston but for Comic Book in 2016. I, I love Conquist, it's a great reflection of the city of Houston, I believe, and they, they just get such amazing guests that as a fanboy, uh, you know, I still geek out too, so I, I love coming for the guests, I, and I love I love the fans here, I love uh, the, the people from Texas. Who... If I can have any superpower, uh, for a guy who travels as much as I do, I go to, I'm going to 26 cons around the country this year, I would love to teleport, like don't need to deal with airplanes and security checkpoints and and uh, even packing, I, be I believe you're able to, you know, you don't have to teleport naked, you can teleport with, this, with stuff with you. Uh, I would love to do that. And, and I, you know, I'd love to be able to teleport to Houston whenever I wanted to. I, I, you know, I have a lot of kryptonite. My kryptonite is uh, pork belly, um, angels envy bourbon, um, uh, women who drink cocktails in uh, like Hervé Leger and Christian, Christian Louboutin Hills. I, I come to Houston and I try to find new things every time I come here, but uh, my main attractions and one that, ones that I keep going back to uh, are, you know, Comic is definitely one of them. Uh, I love coffee and uh, there's a place called Blacksmith uh, near Montrose, which I am at constantly. I think it's, it's just, uh, I, I mean, their coffee is bar none great, the atmosphere is amazing and they love Queen, they love Freddie Mercury in there. So uh, um, the same brainchild from that uh, has just opened up a place called Morningstar, which is also coffee, but donuts as well, and breakfast food, and that's also amazing. Uh, I'm constantly at the Hay Merchant. I love beer, so uh, I go there a lot. And then uh, if, you're, if you love beer, why not go to the, some of Houston's best breweries, St. Arnold's, Carbock, Eighth Wonder. Uh, those are also some of my, some of my favorite places. But, uh... Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I think the funniest thing that's ever happened in um, Comic Book Land that you never see. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, man, man, they make fun of you on the show constantly. Like, it's not that bad in real life. And I'm like, no, it's not that bad in real life. It's worse. And the reason it's worse is because there's no editing in real life. In real life, those guys have been dumping on me for over 20 years. Uh, Brian Johnson, the guy with the big beard especially. And I think um, about 85 to 90% of the things he says on camera for the show gets cut it never makes it to air and these are like some of the dirtiest like raunchiest jokes uh, most of them aimed at me I if I could read one series of comics for the rest of my life uh, most people probably choose uh, the standard Batman Superman X-Men uh, I go I get a little more it's a little more obscure not really but uh, in 1996 1997 uh, they, they kind of relaunched a character called Starman uh, with a character named Jack, Jack Knight, and uh, they have a little omnibus that's about yay big. It's about, if you go out and buy it, it's about 30 bucks, but to me it's priceless. It's something that I keep reading over and over and over. Like Golden Unicorn of Comics. Uh, I mean, every person worth its salt in the comic world would love an action number one, Detective, uh, Detective 27, uh, maybe an all-star number eight, the first appearance of Wonder Woman. Uh, I'm, I mean, I, my, my, my collection, you know, there, people always go to value, and I don't go to value, I go to content. Because um, you're supposed to read comics, you're not supposed to put them between plastic and throw an arbitrary grading scale on them. Like, to me, that's not what comics are all about. But, uh, I mean, that being said, I, I don't have a Hulk 181, which is the first appearance of Wolverine. I don't have a giant size X-Men, which is kind of like the pinnacle of X-Men collecting. Um, I did recently buy New Moons 98, which is the first appearance of Deadpool, which is kind of cool. But I mean, any like key like Silver Silver Age comic is is always not elusive. But I'm always trying to get like the best deal for them. I mean, you could go to cons, you could plop down whatever they're asking. Like anybody can do that. But to get a really good deal on that, or actually find it in like a dollar bin or at a garage sale, that's that's the true golden unicorn. I'm a big eater, especially here in Houston. There's so much varied cuisine. Uh, I mean, my standard is, uh, answer is all of it, but uh, it seems I've been leaning more a lot toward Asian around here. There's a lot of great 
like hole in the wall hidden Asian cuisine um, that uh, I, I plan to try to find. Like if you go uh, to like the Asian part of Bel Air, I mean there's no shortage of all and all that. But uh, like the Gulf Coast seafood is also amazing. Um, and then uh, yeah, they they seem to they've got their desserts down pat here. What comic book character am I ashamed to admit that I like? Uh, there, there are actually two of them. One is a character called Puck, and he was in a kind of a Canadian X-Men team called Alpha Flight. And his power was he wore this helmet and just kind of bounced off of stuff like a hockey puck. And uh, I, I dump on him in public, but in private, I really, I was like, wow, that's kind of, like I do, he, he's also got the spirit, like let's, let's go out, let's go fight crime, let's go like kick some butt. And I kind of, I kind of admire that. Um, there's also a, there's also a, vil, a DC villain called Crazy Quilt who would like wear this weird helmet with these weird lights and stuff. And he had this weird Harlequin outfit, and he would kind of hypnotize you with these lights. It was kind of it was very disco. So, so thank you everybody for sending your amazing questions. Uh, I really appreciate them. And you know, definitely if you're not if you haven't been to visit if you haven't been to Houston, definitely visit Houston. One one of my favorite cities of all time. Come to Comicpalooza. Come hang out with me. Let's talk X Men. Let's talk Star Wars. Let's talk Walking Dead. And uh, you know, let's let's just hang out. But thank you very much, everybody.